Hi, Stephen here from In Exteriors Painters and Decorators and you're watching In Exteriors TV. In this video we're going to be doing some exterior painting and what we're going to be painting is some fascia, soffit and gutter. If you would like to purchase some of the similar tools that I use for this task please feel free to check out the links in the description below and also if you're planning on doing any other decorating works please feel free to visit my tool store the links are also in the description below. So with that said, let's do this. The tools that I'm using for this task is some 60 grade sandpaper, some worn down 80 grade sandpaper, a multi-tool scraper, dust brush, cork gun and decorator's cork, some knotting solution, a selection of paint brushes and a couple of paint kettles. And the paint that I'm using that's not in the picture it's some water-based Dulux Weather Shield undercoat with a satin top coat and some oil-based Johnson's dark grey undercoat with the dark grey flexi satin as a top coat. I'm going to be show, showing you how I paint all of this but I'm going to be breaking it down into three separate videos so I'm going to start off by doing the fascia soffit and gutter then the window and then the door so let's start off with the fascia soffit and gutter Using my neat 60 grade sandpaper and my worn down 80 grade sandpaper, I go around sanding the fascia and the gutter and giving it a good dust off as I go along. Make sure you get the sandpaper right up at the backs as well and give it a good dust off right at the backs and get all that dust and cobwebs from out of there. What I've come across here are some like seeping knots and I've scraped them and sort of sanded them back. It was like hard wax so I've scraped them, sanded them back so what I'm going to do now is give it some knotting solution but further on there's a, a, a few little bits of this that I had to give some attention to. Right now the face has been sanded and dusted and cleaned down we're ready for undercoating. So the undercoat that I'm using is a water-based Dulux Weather Shield undercoat. When you're painting the fascia, get as far up the backs of the gutter as you can. Just get as far up on the wood as possible. You know, sometimes to get right at the backs, you might have to use a little fitch or a sash brush or a combination of brushes. Just do whatever you got to do to get to where you need to be. If you look where I put the uh, knotting solution you can just see that I spot primed it with a bit of um, undercoat so it fully covers the um, the brown mark basically that's left from the um, knotting solution Right, now we need to do a bit of caulking and these are the areas that we need to be caulking. Right, 
Right, now we're ready to undercoat the gutter. And again, do whatever you got to do to get up the backs of the gutter, whether you've got to use a little fitch brush or, uh, or, or a sash brush. Just do what you got to do. Now that all the undercoat and cork's dry, we can give it its final light sand down with the worn down 80 grey sandpaper before we start giving it its top coat. For the top coat, we're using the water-based Dulux Weather Shield exterior satin. And once the fascia balls dry, we're ready to finish the gutter and put the top coat on the gutter. And what I'm using as a top coat is the Johnson's Flexi Satin, oil based. This top coat of Flexi Satin is dark grey as well. I was going to be painting the gutters in a black gloss, but the client loved the dark grey undercoat. So what we've done is got a dark grey flexi satin to finish it off as a top coat. Let me just give you a close-up of how it looks like all cut in. So the the fascia board colour paints the edge of the gutter bracket and then the grey just paints the face of the bracket. Let me just give you a reminder of what it looked like before. And here it is now, all finished.
Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get notified of when I release my next video. Remember, it is free. Also, if you want to leave a comment in the comment section, please do so because that's how we all learn and grow. Thank you very much for watching and take care.